Welcome to another Habisit tutorial. Today we will discuss the splicing of our clean drive lug drive product utilizing our PQ603 press. At Habisit, we've made the process safe, efficient, and best of all repeatable. First step is to cut the belt to size using our specially designed cutting tool for safety, accuracy, and repeatability. In this step, ensure the fixture is snugly aligned with the lugs and the cutting device is squared with the 90 degree framing square which shall be aligned with the belt edge. Next, slide your sharp blade in the slotted groove to cut a squared end. This will ensure the belt ends are completely straight and the lugs remain accurately pitched and ready for splicing. Remove the scrap pieces, however save them as they may be used for side pieces during the joining process. Repeat the process for the opposite belt end. Next, align the prepared ends in the specially designed slotted press plates as demonstrated. You will now use the side pieces you cut at the beginning of the process to completely fill your press. Secure the first end with a clamping bar to hold the belt in place. Repeat the process for the second end utilizing the second hold down clamp ensuring the belt edges align. Before moving on to the next step, ensure both ends of the belt match together without a gap present. This is ensured using our specially designed cutting device and our slotted press plates. Next, apply the proper Teflon or silicone splice paper to the top of the belt. If utilizing silicone paper, ensure to apply the treated side against the belt. Failure to do so will result in the paper sticking to the belt. Install the top press platen and secure it with two press lock knobs. Bring the pressure pad to the required pressure using the provided manual mini pump. Connect the pump to the Schrader valve and inflate. Reference our joining data sheet for the proper pressure setting. Set the upper and lower platen control to the desired temperature settings and time on Habisit's PFR 101 regulator. Press the start button and allow the press to cycle through the process. Once the cycle is complete, the red indicator light appears on the PFR 101. The belt is now ready for removal. Release the air pressure from the press. Note, failure to release the pressure from the press prior to opening the press will result in damage to the pressure pad. Loosen and slide the press lock knobs out of its current position, remove the paper from the top of the belt, loosen and remove the hold down clamps. With a square, safely trim the side pieces. Ensure to use a cutting pad underneath the belt to ensure you do not cut the press plates. Your belt is now ready for operation.